wait to make them move as I be loaded. Why you out here drinking for this? I just told it. Still that same nigga in the form, but it's stolen. Ryan sporty, I can sport it. Can't control. So last night, Russell Westbrook broke another insane record. He was the first player in NBA history to record a triple-double against every team in the NBA. So in today's video, we're going to be finding out if in Russell Westbrook's career, if he will beat Oscar Robertson in total triple-doubles. Uh, on 2K, for some reason, it says he has 80, even though he does have 82 in real life. Uh, so whatever he actually is at, you're going to add another two onto that. And Oscar Robertson recorded 181 in his career. So we're going to be seeing if Russell Westbrook can actually beat that record. Last year, he had 42 triple doubles. So he could do this in like three seasons. Uh, we're going to find out though. See if he's able to do it. Leave your comment down below if you think he will beat that triple double record. We're going to hop right into this though. I guess we're just going to do it uh, season by season. And just look at his stats, see how many triple doubles he ends up notching this season. And uh, yeah, we'll go with the totals at the end of each season. And maybe within five years, he'll be able to beat the triple double record. Let's actually find out though, guys. I'll see you guys at the end of this season. And also, if you do go on to enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button. Let's go for 1,000 likes in today's video. Let's try to hit that and let's get right into this. So we made it to the end of the first season. Russell Westbrook didn't even end up winning MVP, which is pretty crazy. Usually he does end up doing that. Um, I guess we can check out his stats after this though. Also guys, we did turn off injuries for the season and we are controlling all teams. That way there's no uh, difficulty settings or anything like that. That'll make it harder for the players. So if we go over to the roster now, go check out Westbrook. Let's check out his career stats in triple doubles go all the way over here he ends up only getting 14 triple doubles in the past season started off with three ending only with 14 bringing his total up to 93 again he does have two more than it shows on the screen so he's still quite a bit of ways off the triple double record he's almost in third place Jason Kidd has 107, so he'll probably end up passing him next season. We're going to find out, though. Hopefully, he could put up a bit more triple doubles in the next season. Let's just see who ends up winning the playoffs as well here real quick. See if the, the Thunder can end up making it there. Let's just skip all that. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. And it looks like the Thunder have been eliminated. And the Golden State Warriors are going to go. And the Warriors are going to win the championship yet again. So we're going to go into next season. So we're at the end of the second season. Westbrook gets MVP, but he didn't end up averaging a triple-double. So that's not going to look too good for his triple-double totals. Let's check it out yet again. Let's go over to Westbrook this season. Last season, he didn't average a triple-double either. It's just the assists. He's not getting too much of. So let's go over to our total triple doubles now. And this season, it's down to only 12. He's up to 105 triple doubles. Two off being in third place in the NBA. Carmelo Anthony's still on the team. Paul George is actually no longer on the team though. As well as Steven Adams. So the Thunder not doing so good team-wise. Westbrook's still here for five years. Uh, so we're just going to hop into another season. Carmelo's still on the team. See if Westbrook can start getting some more triple doubles. He's not looking too good to actually beat this record at the moment. It's looking like it might take him a bit longer. Looking like he's still going to do it, but just going to take him a while. Thunder get eliminated from the playoffs. So I'll see you guys at the end of the next season yet again. Okay, we're at the end of the third season of Simulation. Westbrook not getting MVP. He didn't make the All-NBA first team either. He made the All-NBA second team, so it's not looking too good for Westbrook after this season. I don't know how many triple doubles he's going to end up making. JV is actually on the Thunder as well. Probably got some sort of trade in there. And let's just view the player card here. So points per game, 21.2, 8.2 rebounds, and only 5.7 assists. 
I don't think he only got three triple doubles this past season. So Westbrook is up to a total of 108. Again, they only had two less than he had in real life. So 108, he ends up going into third place for most triple doubles in his career. He still needs another 60, 70 triple doubles in order to actually get this so he's still quite a ways off and is if he's not getting these 42 triple doubles a season i don't think it's going to end up happening for him um so let's actually just find out in these next few seasons if he can't get more in these next few i don't think it's going to end up happening let's find out though okay back to the end of the season lebron james getting mvp westbrook does Make that all NBA first team though. Same with Lonzo Ball. And we're going to check out Westbrook's stats yet again at the end of this season. This season, he ends up getting 22.3 points per game, 9.2 rebounds, and 5.6 assists per game. He is 32 years old at this point in time as well. So this is when we started. We've done 1, 2, 3, 4... So five seasons of simulation and uh, yeah, or four seasons so far. And we got to check out his total triple doubles now. I don't think he got too many. Only five this season yet again. He's gone. He went started bad, goes up, and then he has gone back down. And he's at a total of 111. So he is still in that third place position. He needs 138 to beat Magic Johnson, 181 to beat Oscar Robertson. At this pace, it's not looking like he's going to do it. Thunder didn't even make the playoffs. They did terrible this season. Looking at the roster, we got Westbrook, Carmelo, who is 36 years old, Jordan Clarkson. He's actually pretty decent. Got some bonus as a center. So the team's not, too, not that good, which might be the reason why Westbrook's not getting too many assists and stuff like that. Uh, we'll keep on going though, see if he ends up beating anybody else. He probably has another like five years of playing time left in his career. We'll find out though when he actually retires. We're at the end of the fifth season of simulation. Westbrook didn't even make any of the all NBA teams. So that's definitely not looking good for his triple double scores. Let's find this thing out. 23.7 points per game, 8.9 rebounds, 6.2 Hopefully he pulled maybe at least five triple doubles. Okay, he got six triple doubles this season. This puts him up to a total of 119. So he is still in third place. He's got a chance of beating Magic Johnson. I don't think he's going to beat Oscar Robertson anymore unless he has some insane seasons. He's 33 years of age. It's not looking too good for Westbrook at this point in time. Okay, we're at the end of, I believe, the sixth season here with Westbrook, who finally gets MVP. I believe he got one more earlier. So he gets MVP yet again, which is going to be nice for his triple-double totals. Hopefully, he pulled at least 10. I mean, we're trying to get him to this triple-double record. Obviously, we have no impact on it, though. 28.1 points per game, 9.1 rebounds, 7.5 assists. The assists have been the only thing that have been lacking other than his two seasons he did really good with assists now he's just gone downhill and let's check out this triple double total only five this season that is not good at all for westbrook he's still sitting in second place i think he might err in third place i think he might get that second place spot over magic don't think he's going to be beating oscar robertson 34 years of age I'd say like five a season probably for Westbrook at this point. Thunder actually making the playoffs. So let's just see how they do in the playoffs right now. Uh, let's just simulate this round. See if they beat Sacramento, who always ends up getting a pretty good team. And they do end up moving on. Kind of surprising there. We don't always see that from the Thunder moving on against Sacramento. And up against Dallas now, who have a pretty insane team as well. The Thunder are out and it's going to be Dallas versus Milwaukee. Dallas taking the championship. And Michael Porter Jr. winning that. And let's just go into another season of simulation. I might just skip until Westbrook actually beats Magic Johnson's record. That way we don't check in every season. So I guess I'll just skip a few seasons. If he doesn't get it next season, I'll skip whenever he does beat out Magic Johnson. If he does, 
or he might end up retiring. Let's find out though. So something kind of unexpected happening in the, it's pretty much, it's just the next season from where we left off. Westbrook is actually on the Toronto Raptors. JV is back over here as well. He was on the Thunder before. A lot different teams than we saw before. DeRozan's 34, not nearly as good as he used to be. Patrick McCaw improving quite a bit bit and i guess we just gotta check out with uh westbrook since he is on the raptors now might as well just check out what he does his first season with the raptors 20 points per game seven rebounds 7.5 assists not too good only three triple doubles and he still isn't ahead of magic johnson that might come in i think it might take him to the end of his career He's not looking too good right now at all. Okay, so we made it to the end of Wes Brooks' career. He ends up not getting many more triple doubles. We go over to his triple double totals. He is up to a total of 129 plus the two 2K didn't add for some reason. So he's up to 131, making him finish third time all time for triple doubles. Magic Johnson had 138. Westbrook with 131 jason kidd is at 107 couldn't get that triple double record guys leave your comment down below though if you think he'll beat it in real life obviously it could turn out differently than in the game 2k is not 100 percent guarantee uh he just went downhill he had his good 42 triple double season and that just kind of went downhill from that as he got older he didn't really get any at all played a solid 19 year career though retired at the age of 39 not too bad for Westbrook. He's still had a great career, you know. Still probably going to end up going down into the Hall of Fame, guys. But there you go, Westbrook. Not able to beat the triple-double record. If you did enjoy the video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And turn on post notifications. This has been your boy Smeagol, and I will see you next time. Peace. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. Yeah, in my bank account. Yeah, in my bank account. Yeah, in my bank account.